I'm ready to be measured. Let's see if I grew any taller. All right, Sabu, up against the wall. Mm -hmm. Hey, no cheating. Uh-uh. Look at There. <gasps> Mongrel Zika! I did grow. Well, that must be a whole garbanzo bean and a half taller. <laughs> All right, it's Xavier's turn. Come on, buddy. Go right over here. And let's just... Whoa! One whole garbanzo bean for Xavier! Bigfoot's next! I forgot how hard it is to measure a kangaroo. <laughs> Alright, buddy, hold on. Wait, hop over this way! <laughs> He's having so much fun with this, I'm never gonna get to measure him. Wait, I've got an idea. Alright, here's the trick. A little snack will stop him. All right, now I can get a measurement on you. Two feet, two and a half inches. Okay, well, that, that's enough for now. Wait, wait. Ooh. Hey, look at this, guys. The kangaroo grew too. He shot up about two garbanzo beans. I can't believe my mind. Food, sleep, and exercise, they really do help creatures grow. That's what it takes to grow a creature. Yeah. <laughs> Zabu was right all along. All creatures need pretty much the same thing to grow up healthy and strong. So, taking care of a human baby is actually just as easy as taking care of a baby kangaroo. Looks like Bigfoot's going to show his mom how much he grew. <laughs> hey, Martin. Hey, Chris. Hey, Jennifer. How's it going? We had a great time taking care of your brother. Yeah, yeah it was no problem. See you later. Hey, Zabu. Bye, Xavier Gurgles. <laughs> He was a great grower. Well, he grew one whole garbanzo bean today. And like I said before, growing him was easy, easy, easy. <laughs> duck! Bean coming! Duck! That's not a duck. That's my pal Sticky Feet. The peregrine oh. falcon. Uh, are you still growing, Sticky Feet? Oh, no. Hmm? He's full grown, Zabu. Birds grow pretty fast. He grew up in one year, and now he's 15 years old. And he brought a message from the animal helper. Oh, yeah. Hi, Crack Brothers. Guess what happened? Our cat, Myrtle, had kittens, and you'll never get to where she's keeping them. I was in my pajamas, all ready for bed, when I heard these little meowing sounds. But I didn't know where they were coming from. I looked all around and finally looked in the closet. Myrtle had moved her kittens in there. She needed a safe place to look after them, and she picked my closet. Myrtle's a great mom, and she'll help these kids grow up healthy. Amy is great with creatures. Oh yeah, she's helping creatures grow just like me. Grow, Amy, grow! <laughs> there are creatures growing up all over the world. Oh, wow. So how do we decide where to go to find growing creatures? Ooh. Well, let's let this frog pick. He wants you to stay home. You want to go? Oh. India! India! Sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> to the closet! <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, guys! There are all sorts of creatures growing up in these Indian forests. All you have to do is know how to spot them. Young elephants. Tiger cubs. This place is crawling with young creatures. I know. Everyone's growing up. Ah! You okay, brother? I think so. <laughs> Sometimes creatures are easier to spot than tree branches. Like those guys. Langer monkeys up here in the trees. And Langer monkeys down here on the ground. It's a whole Langer family. And it looks like there's a new addition to the family. A baby monkey. Born only a few days ago, this little monkey is growing fast. With a lot of help from mom, that is. At this age, a monkey needs his mom for everything. 
Now this baby monkey is a little bit older. He's probably about three months old. He's still nursing and getting a lot of his food and nutrition from his mom's milk. But he's also starting to try out solid foods. The way he does it is by running over to his mom and seeing what she's eating. He checks it out, see what it is, how she eats it, and then he goes off to try some for himself. You're seeing a baby monkey trying a new food for the first time. <laughs> but I guess he likes mom's milk a little better. <laughs> Now these two little guys are great buddies. They play together, they run around together, they do just about everything together. Including climbing trees. This baby Langer monkey is just practicing his climbing. Because if you're a Langer monkey, climbing is a huge part of your day. Hey Martin, let's climb like the Langer monkeys. All right! Well, I guess we grew a little too big for those tree branches. <laughs> yeah, but you guys keep on growing. Let's head back to Animal Junction. I wonder if Zaba grew by another garbanzo bean while we were gone. Let's find out. Well, hi, brothers. I built a new machine while you guys were away. This stretching machine will really help me grow. Woohoo! Zabu, no! Oh. Oh, stop! You can't do this! This is crazy! Zabu, you can't stretch yourself into growing bigger. You can't? No! The only way you can grow is by food, sleep, and exercise. Oh, oh. There you oh. go. Thanks, brothers. I guess you're right. Huh. I just wanted to show Kling along how much I could grow. Kling along? Yeah, over there. Martin, look. Marmosets. Wow. Look how they're zooming around. Yeah, and their little hands just cling right onto the branches. Yeah, well, that's why I call him Kling along and her Kling a Ling. They've got a lot of growing to do if they're going to get as big as me. So I thought they could try out my new machine. They're supposed to be small, Zabu. Marmosets are the smallest type of monkey in the whole world. Listen. The sounds they make sound kind of like birds chirping, don't they? Check out the tiger stripes on their back and their tail. Wow. And then they have those white ear tufts. Oh, look at them scratch. I've never seen a creature scratch so quickly. <laughs> how do you move so fast? Did you see how the marmosets chew? On the tree? That's because they're trying to dig a hole in the tree and get the sap that flows out. They eat it, like this pygmy marmoset's doing. Oh, do they eat anything else? They eat a few insects and some fruit, but mostly sap from trees. Big or small, all creatures grow at their own pace. Well, Mondrazika, you're right. Well, just like I like being smaller than you guys. Why, Zob? Well, because. <laughs> because then I can cling on to you while you're leaping. Well, Let's leap like lemurs! And while we're leaping and clinging, I'll tell a story from Zabu Land! All right! Well, we were leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I landed on a huge rock. But it wasn't a rock. It was an egg and it cracked. My mind got a great idea. I could fix the egg with some Zabu Land tree sap. Whoa! Whoa, it's very gooey. And I put it on the egg. But the egg kept cracking and cracking and cracking. And, and whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. baby Zabumafusaurus. <laughs> Mama? Mama? Me? Well, I'm not your mommy. Oh, will you help me find my mommy? So I said, sure. And we went to find his mommy. Mama. Well, on the way, baby Zabumafusaurus asked me, Zabu, will you help me grow? Help you grow? Oof. Well, I know you need food, sleep, and exercise to grow, but here's something else that'll help you grow. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Baby. So we hopped on board and had a nice ride home. Hey, that's a good one, buddy. Thanks. Zabu, you ready for one last measurement? Oh, yeah. Stand up straight. Another garbanzo bean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was shooting up like a weed. Mongrel Zika, I am still growing. We're great growers, right, Klingalong? This animal is a friend of mine from the 
tip of his nose who is finding behind All the friends that we met today are special in their own way We've all got different names, but we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today I got more growing to do. Bye, Zabu! Keep on leaping! Oh, hey, Chris, you know, I don't think we've ever seen that pig in Asia that grows up here. The bearded pig, you're right! Yeah! Let's go! We'll see you next time! Bye! Hi, my name is Karen, and this is Thumper. Hi, we're the Krat Brothers. Every creature adventurer knows you have to be careful around animals. Because sometimes an animal can get a little scared of you, and then she might think she has to defend herself. That's why you should only go near an animal when an adult says it's okay. Right, Sabu? To find out more about Zabumafu, visit pbskids.org or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. And now some jokes from Zabumafu. Did you know that an elephant's trunk is the longest nose in the world? And an elephant can do a lot with that trunk. First of all, an elephant drinks by sucking water into her trunk and then squirting it up into her mouth. And when she goes swimming, an elephant uses her trunk to breathe. She sticks it out of the water just like a snorkel. And of course, there's nothing better on a hot savanna day than a cooling dust bath with dust blown out by that trunk. Hey, Martin. Yeah, buddy. How are a tree and an elephant alike? Tell me, Zabu. They both have a trunk. <laughs> wow. Hey, Zabu, wasn't that funny? <laughs> Did you know that a dog keeps cool on a hot day by panting? And another great way a dog can get cool is by swimming! So when it's hot, keep your dog cool with water and shade. Hey, Chris! Chris, I got a joke for you. Yes, sir. Uh, why did the dog sit in the shade? I don't know why. Because he didn't want to be a hot dog. <laughs> Zabumafu was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. It's almost time for Sesame Street, so stick around. We're counting on you. It's time to sneak a peek at Between the Lions, Between the Show. Ready? Let's go. T toe, toe, rat, toe, rattle, rattle, rat, rattle. Join us next time for more Between the Lions, Between the Shows. Gotta go. Bye. On PBS Kids. There's some things Caillou would like to know. What's that? And things he can't figure out. Why? But every day he tries something new. I did it. Because that's what life's about. And you can try it too with Caillou. Only on PBS Kids. Hello, it's me. PBS Kids is made possible by your support of your local PBS.